Jason Newland and this is Deep Sleep Whisper Hypnosis. Please only listen when you can safely close your eyes. Now, just to let you know that on my website you can listen and all of my recordings completely free and also advert free so I'd like you to get yourself comfortable ideally lying down on your bed if you're sitting in a chair make sure that it supports your body event of you falling asleep. And I'm just going to talk to you as you lie there, listening to my voice. There may be the odd background sound, but that's okay. It's just sound. <laughs> that's it, really. As I've said before, I think part of the process of learning to get in touch with your natural ability to sleep is also Necessary. I used to think that. I really did. I used to believe that in order for me to sleep, it had to, it had to be silent and there had to be no light. You know, complete blackness and complete silence. And I realised that actually that's not correct that we all have way more flexibility than that and actually background sounds providing you know they're not I guess too disruptive can be almost hypnotic when you think about it on music or even just uh, I forget what they call them but bongos is it bongo, bongo drums very hypnotic in fact they're actually used in sort of transforming meditational kind of stuff If uh, I don't know if someone was in the garden with a chainsaw cutting up a tree, that might not be useful. But if that was in the distance, it might be a quite a nice. Sleeping and 
but uh, can only sleep when this happens. I mean, I've got a friend who believes he can only sleep when he drinks. And those kinds of thinking do need to be broken. It takes a bit of time sometimes, and a baby. You didn't need for it to be completely silent when you was a baby to fall asleep. I'm I've seen I have seen babies fall asleep while they were eating at the table. My little brother fell asleep while he was on his bicycle. You know I mean that's the thing about it is the best way to get a child to go to sleep is to keep them awake. It's not always an ideal situation, but if you can, it works. Especially when you tell a child, time for bed, then they're going, no, no, I want to stay up. Eventually, they will be exhausted and they will fall asleep. Even with all the willpower to keep themselves awake, they will fall asleep. And children's willpower, I would, uh, I would actually bet is a lot stronger than many adults' willpower. When a young child wants something, they tend to just keep, keep focusing on what they want. As adults, we can learn to let go and to move on. So even you think a child wants to stay awake, yet they still fall asleep. When they really, really want to stay awake, they fall asleep. Just proves that we can all sleep. All of us sleep naturally even if we don't want to and you may think but why would I not want to well here's an example for me I like to watch boxing on telly and sometimes the boxing is on at a weird I remember it's a long time ago I remember I'd be sitting up in bed waiting for this boxing to start and this is something that I'd been looking forward to for a long you know all week and I'd end up falling asleep even though I really really wanted to stay awake Saturday night and didn't have to get up Sunday morning so there was nothing stopping me really staying awake and I really wanted to try you know I tried everything to stay awake but I fell asleep so it's something happening there isn't there something psychological or whether it's just the way that our brains work but we 
also hearing that you're affecting yourself negatively and the more you believe what you're saying the more it's going to be true the more you believe what you're saying the more effect it has upon you which means you have choices you really do have choices you can choose some people who would say oh, I can't choose what I think about whoa, 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 whoa. see when I say that I'm not saying that every thought you have is consciously produced of course you're going to think about stuff that you don't want to think about or you're going to think about stuff that is not pleasant we all do that's just part of being human. However, regardless of what automatic thinking happens, you can consciously decide to focus on something else, something new, something useful for you focusing on the fact that sleeping is your birthright that you really can enjoy the sense of relaxation when you're lying on your bed you can choose to think about some nice things some positive things knowing that that actually affects the way you feel about yourself actually affects the way that you experience yourself just by thinking about nice things by thinking about positive things it changes how you feel and let's face it stuff that's just going to be unpleasant if you lie in your bed thinking about nice things nice experiences from the past things that maybe you're looking forward to in the future positive and happier and drifting off to sleep it will be so easy so easy knowing that you don't fit. 
positivity. 